Hello guys, I'm Divakar back with another new cool video and in this one, I'm going to review Oxygen OS 12.1 stable for OnePlus Nord. I know I'm a bit late for this and the reason is pinned in the comment section. But trust me guys, it's worth watching. We will be splitting this video into 7 parts. Firstly, the intro, which you are watching it right now. Then the UI changes and bugs, performance, BGM and heating, battery and charging, camera and lastly the conclusion. Firstly, you'll notice that the UI has changed from stockish field to colored OS and most of our community members didn't like this change. Though nothing gonna happen if we keep on complaining about this, it's based on color OS code base. This 4 into 4 app drawer layout makes the device feel like thinner and personally I didn't like it. We don't have OG hidden space for apps, now we need to use phone dialer to view hidden apps. Talking about the phone application, old oneplus dialer doesn't work here. We don't have a fully working oneplus dialer as of now. Till then to record calls we need to use TTS LE XS application. If you guys want a video on call recording without announcement, let me know in the comment section. And yeah, subscribe to our channel. In very rare cases, Bluetooth discussion issue when connected to Wi-Fi. And some guys in our telegram discussion group were complaining about the Dirac audio tuner. But I didn't face any problems as such. Make sure you join our telegram discussion group for more updates regarding OnePlus Nord. Yet another issue which hasn't been fixed from the closed beta builds is that notifications are not displayed properly on lock screen. Honestly, I don't keep notifications content to display over lock screen for privacy concern. So this issue didn't hit me hard. And there are some other known issues which were mentioned in the change log. These were some changes and bugs. But in case if you wish to see a video of features, changes and customizations, click on the card popping over top right corner or the link is given in the description box below. Talking about the performance, the phone's performance is better compared to Oxygen OS 11. The overall stability of the system is good. You won't get to see any jitters or lags while using the phone. The phone runs smoothly all the time. In case you feel it's slow due to animations, then set it to fast and get the fast and smooth experience. In case if someone wants to know, in Geekpen's test, phone score 607 in single core and 1753 in multi core. And when high performance mode is turned on, 610 in single core and 1790 in multi core. All this doesn't matter much as the device is getting 2 years old now. I have played BGMI for 1-2 to hours a day to check its performance and heating with the high performance mode turned on and off. Like initially the phone's temperature was at 36 degrees celsius and 39 degrees celsius in the other case. Just after playing for 10-15 to 15 minutes, quickly the phone touches 40-42 to 42 degrees celsius and then it remains constant. It may go up to 44-46 to 46 degrees celsius sometimes, like after having long gaming sessions. And approx 2-3% of battery drop for every 5 minutes of play. Talking about the frame rates, the phone consistently provides 50 plus FPS all the time and 55 FPS average and might fall down to 45 frame rates if the phone's temperature is too high or you are fully surrounded by enemies and you are about to do a 1v4 clutch. The overall gaming performance is better compared to Oxygen OS 11 and in normal usage, phone doesn't heat up and it's quite good. Talking about the battery drain, the phone hardly gives 6 hours of screen on time which is quite bad compared to its previous version. The phone drains quickly and also has issue with charging speeds. Now it takes around 1 hour 15 minutes to 1 hour 20 minutes to get fully charged and this is not expected from a 30,000 rupee smartphone. Battery drain during night time is around 6-7% which is the same as it was before. Oxygen OS 12 doesn't come with Oppo camera UI and it doesn't mean that the camera performance isn't that great. I have compared most of the camera samples from Oxygen OS 11 and 12 and actually Oxygen OS 12 takes better shots compared to its previous versions. And this camera improvement is just a little and it's not a breakthrough. Just don't expect stock camera app to capture photos like Gcam. Now we have the functionality to use external mic to record audio while shooting a video, before it wasn't. To conclude this topic, Oxygen OS 12 gives you better performance, stability, camera and some add-on features which does make this UI heavy and has cons like poor battery backup and charging speeds. So if you are the one who is thinking to update your smartphone to Oxygen OS 12, I'll suggest not to update if you wish to have a better battery backup, don't like color OS UI and avoid new bugs mentioned in this video. And you can update your smartphone in case battery drain doesn't bother you ready to welcome new UI changes and some bugs for now. 
and in return you'll get good performance in gaming and normal usage and better stability compared to its previous version for more information regarding oneplus nord join a telegram description group and there are around 500 members waiting for you guys now subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon to get notified when we upload any video regarding oneplus nord and click on the video on the left to know what are the new features and changes that you get to see on oxygen os 12.1 for the oneplus nord and on the right we have a routine tutorial of oneplus nord and the fun part is it works on every version of oxygen os you don't need any boot image so that's it guys i'm the walker signing off and i'll meet you in the next one until then take care of yourself bye bye <laughs>